Welcome to the public information meeting for the Clyde Morris Boulevard or State Road 483 Improvements Project. Ty Garner is the Florida Department of Transportation Project Manager. We encourage your participation and feedback about this project. The purpose of this meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommendations for achieving the goals, and hear your feedback on the recommendations. This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar and over the phone. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, DeLand, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5367, or email at smith 2 at dot.state.fl.us. That's J E N N I F E R dot S M I T H, the number two, at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Jacqueline Paramore, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Sewanee Street, Mail Station 65. Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4753, or email at Jacqueline.Paramore at dot.state.fl.us. That's J-A-C-Q-U-E-L-I-N-E dot P-A-R-A m o r e at d o t dot s t a t e dot f l dot u s. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location on the project website and in the meeting notifications. The nearly three-mile project begins at Bevel Road or State Road 400 and ends just north of Dunn Avenue. The Clyde Morris Boulevard project proposes to implement a complete streets design approach that enhances safety for all users, including pedestrians, bicyclists, and drivers throughout the corridor. Other recommended improvements include repaving the roadway, enhancing lighting, making necessary drainage improvements, and upgrading crosswalks and pedestrian curb ramps to comply with the Americans with Disabilities Act, or ADA, standards. Currently, Clyde Morris Boulevard is a four-lane roadway with outside paved shoulders, 12-foot wide travel lanes, a two-way left turn lane in the middle, and sidewalk at various locations. To help reduce the risk of the most serious head-on and angle crashes, the project recommends adding a raised median with landscaping throughout the project limits. The raised median also would help to encourage safer driving speeds. Pedestrian safety would be improved by constructing new sidewalk to fill gaps and upgrade existing sidewalk. The proposed sidewalks would be 6 to 12 feet wide on both sides of the roadway throughout the corridor. This rendering is an illustration of how the improvements would look on Clyde Morris Boulevard looking south to Bevel Road. Bicyclists will be able to use the wider sidewalks through much of the corridor. 
from Aviation Center Parkway slash Bellevue Avenue to Buccaneer Way, the project also would provide a five foot wide bicycle lane. This is an illustration of what Clyde Morris Boulevard would look like with the bicycle lane from Aviation Center Parkway slash Bellevue Avenue to Buccaneer Way next to Emory Riddle Aeronautical University. Another pedestrian safety consideration is construction of a new pedestrian tunnel that would run under Clyde Morris Boulevard north of the Emory Riddle Aeronautical University entrance. The existing pedestrian bridge will remain. At the north end of the project, this illustration shows the proposed raised median in the area of the Halifax Health Center. As mentioned, raised medians with landscaping are proposed throughout the corridor. The medians will not affect access to most side streets or driveways. The only exceptions are at two locations. The first location is Emory Riddle's Facilities Building, number 915, north of Shady Place. Drivers turning onto Clyde Morris Boulevard will have to turn right and then make a U-turn to head south on Clyde Morris Boulevard. The other location is the north exit slash entrance from the auxiliary parking lot on the west side of the roadway near Halifax Medical Center just south of Dunn Avenue. This means drivers turning onto Clyde Morris Boulevard from the parking lot will have to turn right and make a U-turn to head north on Clyde Morris Boulevard. Or drivers can take a right from the parking lot onto Dunn Avenue, go to the traffic signal, then make a left turn. The design for this project is anticipated to be complete in summer 2023 with an estimated cost of $3.3 million. All work will be done within the existing right of way. The department is working to secure the estimated $19 million needed to build the project. So a start date for construction has not been determined. We encourage your input and feedback about this project, and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by April 8th, 10 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. To submit comments in person, you may speak to our project staff on the floor or complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com dot com forward slash project forward slash four four eight seven seven three dash one. You may also contact the project manager directly by email at ty.garner at dot.state.fl.us. That's ty dot g a r n e r at dot dot s t a t e dot f l dot u s or by u s mail at the florida department of transportation 719 south woodlands boulevard mail station 542 deland florida 32720 you may also call the project manager at 386-943-5299 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about this project, go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 448773 one in the search box at the top right and click go. Then click on the project name. 
Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by April 8th. Contact information, a recording of this presentation, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting are posted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 448773-1. Have a good evening and remember, slow down in work zones. Safety is everyone's responsibility.